காபிராகம் ஆதிதாளம் Siri Girish GNB sir GN Bala Subramaniam sir his name is a statement and when you hear somebody say GNB sir you know who he is one of the things that fascinated me the most was his mind and his thought process he was always thinking way ahead of his time and uh, 
if we listen to any of his concerts or recordings there is always something for us to take back home and many of these amazing mrigas and phrases that he did they linger around in our mind for days to come and um, it is just out of this world to uh, listen to him do such difficult and complex mrigas in lightning speeds um uh, he is just perfection personified uh that is his uh, grandeur and um you cannot just define it or confine it into words <laughs> composer with over 250 compositions in multiple languages such as sanskrit tamil and uh, telugu his no his thoughts were so advanced that he always said that anything new must not be rejected and that is such a motivation to uh, all of us uh, students of carnatic music and music in general uh, to always keep going and striving for the best his compositions not just included traditional pieces like krithis tilanas but he also did multiple new ragams like uh, shiva shakti amrit behag and uh, humble pranams to him nevalayinte endu potune nevalayinte endu potune nivalayinte endu podune 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 nivalayinte Oh, my God. 
I started listening to Carnatic music because it was a music that my mother played all the time on the radio. It was almost exclusively on radio and TV that I initially listened rather unintentionally to Carnatic music. When I finished college, I started actively listening to artists like uh, Maharaja Param Santanam, Sudhar Aghnathan and Bombay Jayashree. It was, uh, however, during the Napster era that I first um, discovered JNP, not knowing who exactly he was. When I played the very first concert that I had downloaded, it seemed to me that I had been introduced to a completely different genre of music as the speed of singing and the clarity of the notes was something that I had not encountered before. I was well and truly hooked. The more I listened to him, the less I listened to and wanted to listen to the artists I mentioned earlier. As this also happened to coincide with the period when I was learning to sing, it was uh, really exciting to hear him sing uh, Varnam, such as the Nidukori Varnam in Mohanam and uh, Every Bodhana in Abhogi. I would uh, often try to um, sing these Varnams the way that uh, I had listened to, um, I had heard GNB sing these ones. Uh, it was, however, uh, impossible, obviously, to replicate anything that uh, the great singer uh, did, even in um, simple compositions like uh, Varnams. Uh, the joy of listening to GNB was um, uh, something else, and uh, t till date, I think he is uh, absolutely one of my uh, favorite singers ever. I think the kind of music that would make you go wow and it retains the wow factor each and every time, that's GNB. Namaskarams. I am Sai Krish Vitrivel. I do not come from a musical family. Nobody in my family knows music. Um, I, I started learning music only after I was inspired to get into music by Bharat Ratna Shrimati M.S. Subhulakshmi. But after me starting, le starting to learn music or after me starting to even listen to music, it was Sri G.N. Balasubramaniam who actually set my goal. He was an inspiration to anything. He was handsome, he was tall, he was handsome, he had a pleasing personality. All this as a human, as a musician, his music is unthinkable. It is unfathomable. He he would he he had his own style in everything. Even in maintaining the talam, he had his own style. He wouldn't flip his hand over. He'll just do it um, in a linear pattern. He would sing in a way that would keep the audience always focused on his music. Nobody would even think of, nobody's brain would waver to another um, topic even for a second. The Radhams that he sang, the Krithis that he sang, it always had the gene be painted. Na 
example if i were to say andolika first person which comes to our minds is shri jnb or for akriti if i say himagiri tanaye or dik theriyada kaatil it's always jnb who comes in front of our eyes i um i never liked ragam tanam pallavis because i thought they were um pretty boring because they were very long they had a long alapana they had a long thanam um i started falling in love with rp rtps only after one incident um i found an rtp in anand bhai ravi by shri jnp and in that anand bhai ravi i think in the second or third phrase he brought the entire raga in front of my eyes as i was blown away Da 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 
by its beauty. And uh, I, since then, I became a huge fan of his art piece. Not just his art piece. I'm a huge fan of his music. His his music is just unfathomable. Now, um, the first recording that I listened to of Sri G N B was Lochana Kamala Lochana in uh, the Ragam Darbar. Um, Uh, and the uh, people had already told me that gnb's music is excellent gnb's music has uh, something that nobody else this music had so i i just wanted a trial to see what his music was first sangati goes normally second sangati goes normally i i start to think i'm starting to think that nothing great is going on here it's just like any he is just like any other musician um he goes he proceeds to go on to the third sangati fills it with magnificent prakas magnificent prakas i don't think any other human is even capable of trying to do that that was where i fell in love with his music from that day i never ever not listened to his music then him as a composer him as a composer compositions that he made every single one of them is a gem yes. beautiful gems him being a musician a performing musician he was also a very very proficient composer i'm not sure how many um uh musicians of that period the both um finally um people also told me that um i i uh, know people didn't tell me i read somewhere that uh people used to criticize gnb's music um that it lacked brikas sorry it lacked gamakas because of his fast tempo he he didn't sing enough of gamakas that's what uh, the criticism was but after that i went um, i'm not sure if the same day or the second day i went um, um, and listened to a recording of him kadanu variki i guess i'm not uh, sure in todi not sure what they meant by gamaka because well, I, i i i'm not sure i'm just a layman but to my ear thodi sounded perfect and we all know that thodi is nothing without gamakas so criticisms are for happen even for perfect people that's what i see here <laughs> greatest inspiration i've told 
ఇన్యూబరబుల్ టైమ్స్ టు మై మదర్ ఆర్ టు ఎనీబడి ఎల్స్ దట్ నా పాడ్నే నాకే జిఎన్బి మాడి మారి మాత్రం అందా నా పాడ్బి ఇలా ఐ వోంట్ సింగ్ అట్ ఆల్ నాట్ షూర్ ఇఫ్ ద వెల్ దట్ విల్ ఎవర్ హ్యాపన్ బట్ దట్ వాస్ హిమ్ హిస్ మ్యూజిక్ వుడ్ మేక్ అస్ థింక్ అట్లీస్ట్ టు సెట్ అ గోల్ టు సింగ్ లైక్ హిమ్ be like him to to have his style to have his pleasing personality and everything else he was such a great legend i i place my humble pranams to the lotus feet of sangeeta kalanidhi gana gandharvan maha vidwan shri ji and bals namaskar namaskar antarikya namaskar గూడలూర్ నారాయణ స్వామి సుబ్రహ్మణ్యం అవరు ఒక పెరియ లెజెండ్ ఇంత మ్యూజిక్ ఇండస్ట్రీలే అవరు నిறைய కాంట్రిబ్యూషన్స్ பண்ணிருக்காரு அந்த கான்ட்ரிபியூஷன்ஸ் எல்லாமே எனக்கு எனக்கு அந்த பெரிய வெச்சது ஃபுல்லாவே என் மகன் தான் சாய் கிருஷ்ணன் ட்ரிவி அவன் வந்து அவரோட ரொம்ப ஒரு அடாண்ட் ஃபாலோவர் he really wants him to be his mentor and uh, i also really want my son also to contribute to this music for india actually subramanyam has done so much things which we have to be pr- proud of and uh, india's having such a person is something great namaskar maru gelara maru gelara o raghava 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 maru gelara o నేన చాలా నురులాయ్య 
Ah. Uh -huh. 